joining. Let's dive into the second uh, topic that we have for the night, which is um, the LDP again. I mean, this is just uh, awkward and funny. I think I've talked before about this guy, uh, Toshiro. It's kind of funny. In other, and then we've had like Abe and we've had like Koizumi and other famous uh, LDP prime ministers. The person who was like the, the party president, who's basically like the chief organizer for the political party, um, was kind of not very prominent. You wouldn't really notice them, but for some reason, this guy, uh, Toshihiro Nikai, he's just like, all of a sudden, he's like in the news all the time. He, he's like demanding, uh, he, 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 he wants everybody to know that he's the real boss behind the bosses, but it's like the whole idea of that is that you're not supposed to stand out, but he kind of does, even though he has no actual real authority or power publicly. He likes to sort of talk loudly. And... Um, yeah, yeah, and the thing is, when he does, again, like just like that guy before, he just makes every bad situation worse. And this was just uh, this got covered by the BBC. I, I, I only pointed at this in Japanese, and no one seemed to notice it when I did, did that. I just it was, it was too easy to hit. It was like hitting a kid, uh, frankly, uh, doing this one. But a couple of days after I tweeted it, some other people started to notice, and this did actually make international news headlines, which is. Uh, among the whole theme, the whole issue from the Olympics thing stemming from the idea of participation, 40% uh, composition of Olympics-related boards uh, having uh, women, and um, the the underrepresentation of women in committees and so on, it came up, it, it was redirected towards the government. And uh, it was pointed out that uh, in many um, of the uh, deliberative committees uh, within the Diet that there were also no women at all. And um, yeah, basically Nikai came up with a plan to uh, both improve participation of women in these meetings and at the same time ensure that they proceeded in a timely manner and were not slowed down in the way that, you know, L all LDP men seem to believe women make meetings take longer. So he, f he figured out the perfect, the perfect solution, if, you, if, you, if that's how you see the world, which is that uh, he invited uh, women politicians to sit in and observe uh, these uh, committees going forward, but they would not be allowed to speak in the meetings. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, uh, he thought that was a good idea. And he called a press conference to share what a great idea it was. And the, the BBC and the international press, uh, after they picked their jaws up off the ground, they broadcast it. They did exactly what he did. And he doesn't understand what's the fuss. Um, but that is a thing that happened. I mean, it's just kind of just amazing how they managed to not uh, read the air as it is on these things. But uh, he did that. That was funny and terrible.